everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is Lindsay and this is Life with Lindsay. Today we have a post review. Um, I am filming this for you guys sideways because it fits better on my desk this way. So if my hands are in an awkward angle, that's the only reason why. I promise they're fine. Um, anyway, hi. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Lindsay. I do mainly diamond painting and some other crafting related content. I would love for you to like, subscribe, hit the bell, hop board the Hot Mess Express. Let's be friends. If you've been here before, hi, welcome. So this is my post review. This is Bootstrap Betsy from Diamond Painting shop. It is a Jasmine Beckett Griffith image, otherwise known as Strangeling. It is part of the public domain project, and I will leave all the information for that down below if you're unfamiliar with it. But basically, in a nutshell, artist Jasmine Beckett Griffith, or Strangeling, depending on how you know her, um, she released hundreds and hundreds of her own artwork into the public domain for fair and free use. So tons and tons of diamond painting companies have picked up a lot of her artwork because it is something that they can get without having to pay a licensing fee. And she did this in hopes that it would prevent people from stealing her artwork. Um, so this particular image is licensed at more than one um, company. Uh, I will say I've seen another company's rendering of this, and I am so, so glad that I went with this one. If you guys would like to see the unboxing for this, I will leave that one up in the eye for you guys. But without further ado, let me tell you all about um, my experience with this, the things I liked, the things I didn't like. Um, please keep in mind, things that are important to me may not be important to you and vice versa, and that everything that I state here is completely my own opinion. I am an affiliate with Diamond Painting Shop, and you are more than welcome to use the code sparkle squad 15 that will save you money but it is an affiliate code so anything i make will go back into the channel no obligations to use it but i do want to point out that um affiliate or not i'm going to be completely honest with you guys so i have previously unboxed and completed other kits from diamond painting shop um this one is a square i believe it is a different manufacturer than her uh, um round canvases i'm not 100 percent sure if i find out that information i'll link it down below in or i'll put it in the description box but this is a square drill canvas as i said um maybe i didn't it's a 65 by 50 and the square drills are resin, which I know is a lot. A lot of people love, love, love that. This canvas had a total of 54 colors, including one, two, three, four ABs. Um, I absolutely, absolutely love this image. Um, let me give you guys the stats here. As I mentioned, 65 by 50. I completed this in 10 days. It should have been nine days because my last day or that I worked on, I worked less than a half hour. Anyway. 10 days in total for a total of 37 hours and 35 minutes. Um, again, 65 by 50 resin square drills, 54 colors, four ABs. Um, I will show you guys the canvas and then I will go over the drills and show you guys what I liked, what I didn't like. So uh, as I mentioned, I am filming sideways. So most of this gets in camera. I will say um, a lot of the skin... You can see I didn't super, super love the skin color choices, but the overall effect, um, it's supposed to make it uh, blend more when you have it going like that. I love the eyes. I was actually going to put crystals in the eyes, like from my own stash, but there's ABs in here and I really like the way they came out. So here she is. Up here is like sky and then down at the bottom is sand. Um, so I will show you guys... Here's the tour of the tattoos. Okay, now I will tell you, and I'm going to be completely honest with you, the tattoos are much more easily visible in camera than they are in person. However, I was looking at this with my husband, and I took a step back, and I was able to figure out what everything was. So this is an anchor, um, and there's like a rope around it. Here is a skull. Um, there are flowers. Let's see if I can get the one on. There's a swallow on her back. And then this one here, which I might have to readjust the camera to show you guys. There you go. This is like a lady of the lake. Um, and you can see like here are her knee highs and her boots and the sand. Let's keep going. So thing I loved about this, one of the things I loved about this, I'm just going to move you guys. I, if I zoom in or out, I'll lose the flash. Um, this bird is <laughs> spectacular. I believe it's a macaw. If I'm wrong, somebody can correct me. But the details in the feathers and then it's just loaded with ABs right in here. Um, and then it's like a very sunset sky. Now, I started out down in this corner down here, um, which for me, I worked on the entire canvas sideways. So this 
is all sand. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but there are so many different colors in the sand and the skull and the crab. Um, I was like, oh man, this kit has way more confetti than I expected. And then I got to sections like this where it was a lot more line blocking. Um, there is a fair amount of both line blocking and confetti, but I mean, maybe you guys can't tell super well, but this definitely, like, I can tell that's a girl and I can tell that's a swallow and I can tell that's an anchor. Are they going to be the crispest, most noticeable and distinguishable tattoos on a canvas this side? No, but... Am I happy with the overall appearance of this? Absolutely. So there were a couple places, like, I don't understand why there's some green here. Not a big deal. I could take those out if I wanted to. Um, the reason I chose to do this canvas is because I wanted to see how the tattoos came out. The tattoos and the bird alone sold me on this. Um, there were some issues. I got my little notes here, if you guys can see it. Um, there were a couple symbols that were very, very similar. Let me grab my drills for you guys. Oh, almost knocked that off my table. Um, there are some colors here that I had like very, very little of left. Um, there was a decent amount of trash, maybe not, but I'll show you guys and you can decide on your own. Um, but I didn't run out of any colors. I will say this was some of the most staticky drills that I have ever dealt with. Some of the tan colors uh, were super, super clumpy. Now, for me, I do own a grill, a grill, a drill grinder. If you don't know what they look like, this is what it is. Um, this particular one is from Bell Arte Nicole, and you just put your drills in, and then you close it, and you just spin it around, and it helps separate the drills. You can put them in a pill bottle with a quarter and shake them. Some of them, I was able to just put another tray on top of it and smush it, um, but I, that is something to note. There was a lot of clumping and a lot of static. Um... Let's see. I have some photos and I will try to put them up on the screen here as I'm talking. But there were some symbols that were super, super close. Um, we've got... And again, I am working on this sideways, so just bear with me. La, 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 la. These don't look as bad here as they did on the canvas. But they're like the same exact color on the canvas. So those were hard to distinguish. I had those. Um, there were single line and double line again same color palette in the same exact area um i had the t and the anchor together um none of the symbols were really too too bad uh this one here in particular it was a very muddled symbol um it was easy for me to figure it out because i didn't have a lot of other colors that were purple left um but some of these, because they were a light letter on the background, it was a little bit harder to distinguish. But again, it didn't stop me or slow me down. Um, this is probably my favorite cluster of letters and symbols and whatnot. So you have the percentage sign, the four dots, the three dots. Um, these two are the same DMC. This is the AV version. If you guys are hearing that in the background, that's my husband. No, you're good. That's my husband um, using his power tools. But this is the AB version of this. Um, and it was just, it just took a couple extra seconds of me paying attention to figure it out. Um, in general, I didn't really have any issues trying to figure out what I was working on and where things went. But as I mentioned, there are a couple symbols that were uh, less than my favorite to work with. Um, 42, 43... Don't mind me putting everything away. Um, and as you can see, there's a pretty good assortment of colors here. Uh, here are my ABs that I had. Uh, here's a white AB, a red AB, a yellow AB, and the gray. Uh, this was an exact DMC replacement for one that was already in the kit, which I thought was really nice. Um, let's see if there were any other... I think that was really it. Just some of the symbols were super, super close to each other. And some of the... Drills were really clumped together. I mean, really clumped together. There's some that I can usually just pick up between my fingers and smush like this and they'll fall apart. But these, these were a lot. Um, and as you can probably see, I have a ton of drills that have uh, dryer sheets. Ooh, Lindsay, in them. Um, so that is the drills that I have. Let me show you guys the trash. Um, here is my little... I love this thing. It's a keychain version of a drill tray. I got it in Oraloa kit. Um, and because I don't tend to have a huge amount 
of trash. I am not somebody that picks trash out if it's in, if it's in my way, I will, but not like to go along. So again, this is a square kit, so I'm going to have a lot of these just random shards and blobs. Then you've got a lot that have tabs, a lot of tabs, a couple random, some stuck together, a couple concave, some where the resin just pooled. Um, but in general, I don't think that's too, too much. Uh, however, this is a huge however caveat. If you are somebody who is very, very particular about your drills, um, there is a likelihood that on certain colors in this kit, you would run out. Uh, I did not run out, but there were quite a few colors that I was getting nervous that I was running low. And I thought to myself, if you were more particular about trash and you took a lot more out, there might not be any left over. If you ever have something like that happen, just contact Rosa. She's the owner of Diamond Painting Shop. She is sweet as can be, and she's very, very helpful. But um, the glue on this was nice. It didn't extend past the borders um, it, more than, you know, an average diamond painting. Um, I do really love the sparkle on this. Per me in particular, I don't love the shade choices in the face, but it's not something that I'm going to say, nope, never again. Um, I love how the tattoos came out. The tattoo and the bird. Um, I, re I really, like, I, I didn't expect to love that bird that much, but, like, I did an entire reel on that bird on, on Instagram. I just, I love how it came out, but um, I think that might be all I, oops, sorry guys. Might be all I have for you guys. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Um, have you done this canvas? Uh, have you done a diamond painting shop? Let me know down below. Um, but that's, I really, again, as I mentioned, things that are important to me may not be important to you and vice versa. For me, I am somebody who, uh, I don't ever worry about like, what does it look like super up close because nobody's going to be looking at them. But there's really like no gapping um, the squares were nice. Uh, I mean, I did obviously have some trash, which would prevent that from being perfect, but nothing is perfect. Tell that to my daughter every day, but that's it. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. I'm going to get out of here before I keep rambling about nothing. Um, I loved working on this and I would do another diamond painting shop kit, which luckily for me, I have quite a few more in my stash. Again, if you would like to use the code sparkle squad 15, it is an affiliate code. I do make some commission off of that. Um, it is never expected, but always appreciated. Um, and if you don't want to use it, that's totally cool too. Please keep in mind. I've had some people say to me, the cost of shipping is high. The price of the canvases are high. This is a small independent business who does legally license all of her artwork. It is poured glue. The square kits are resin. The round kits are acrylic. Um, and it is just a woman based out of the U.S. doing all of this. So um, you've been around before. You've probably heard my rants on shipping costs. Um, it is not cheap to ship domestically, let alone internationally. So please do, 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 do keep that in mind when you are making an order with a small business. Um, companies like this don't have shipping partnerships the way like a Diamond Art Club would. Um, but that's it. That's all I got for you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you'd like to see more videos like this or, you know, nothing like this at all, please make sure to give this video two thumbs up. One real life, one virtual. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Come join the Sparkle Squad. And while you're there, hit that notification Good. bell. I do not operate on any sort of schedule. I operate on toddler standard time and I record when my tiny human is sleeping or sleeping. Thank you guys so much for being here and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Bye.